We're learning more about the arrests of two men accused of ambushing and killing a rapper in front of his home in San Mateo. Police say they also wounded his two year old son. Our crime reporter Henry Lee is here now with the latest. Henry. Julie, the shooting death of the rapper Juice Boy was one of two killings of rappers in San Mateo. The other case was unrelated, but this case has links to another shocking crime in the city. 29-year-old John Posse was arrested at his home in North Carolina on Monday. 30-year-old Isalehi Mahi was also arrested Monday in Honolulu. Both faced murder charges in the shooting death of Ueta Mwasika Jr. in October of 2020. The victim was a rapper, also known as Juice Boy of Cutthroat Mode. San Mateo Police Chief Ed Barberini says the ambush killing was calculated and premeditated. Shot execution style 14 times. He died at the scene while putting his two-year-old son into his vehicle to take him to school. This attack was personal and targeted. We believe it to be related to the murder of Susan Tonga from a case in 2019 where she died in a fire that was deliberately set. I've learned that Posse is in fact the grandson of Tonga, the woman who died in the fire. Just last week, Fafita Tao was sentenced to 40 years to life for murder for setting the fire. Tao was targeting gang members who had attacked his family members who were in a rival gang. He mistakenly believed his targets lived at the home and ended up killing Tonga. Investigators believe the shooting death of the rapper came in response to her death. Authorities plan to extradite both men to San Mateo County, where the DA has already charged him with murder, the special circumstance of lying in wait, and assault with a firearm. The boy who was shot has since recovered from his injuries. San Mateo police say they are hopeful that the arrests in the rapper's killing, the boy's father, will put an end to the cycle of violence. Live in the newsroom, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Henry, thank you.